Following the death of Elvis Presley's only child, Lisa Marie Presley, earlier this year, the King's Graceland estate was inherited by his eldest granddaughter, Riley Keough. Riley is taking up the King's iconic legacy and making waves at Graceland. Committed to enhancing accessibility and inclusivity at the historic estate, she's introducing a, a variety of exciting initiatives. As fans eagerly welcome these changes, one question lingers. How will Riley Keough's vision reshape the Graceland experience for both Elvis enthusiasts and newcomers? Join us in the video as we explore the details. In the wake of the passing of Lisa Marie Presley, the famous Graceland Mansion, once owned by her rock and roll legend Father Elvis Presley, will continue to stay within the family. Lisa Marie inherited the iconic 13.8-acre, 23-room estate from Elvis in 1977 at the age of nine, following his demise. Graceland, renowned for public tours of the mansion and extensive museum exhibits, ranks as the second most visited home museum in the U.S. after the White House, drawing over 600,000 guests annually. After Elvis's passing, Lisa Marie gained ownership of Graceland through a trust fund set up for her benefit, with full ownership granted when the trust dissolved upon her, turning 25 in 1993. Subsequently, Lisa Marie managed Graceland alongside her mother and the National Bank of Commerce through another trust she established. According to a representative from Graceland, the property will now be passed on to Lisa Marie's three daughters, Riley, Harper, and Finley. In a significant development, Riley Keough assumed the role of the sole trustee for Lisa Marie Presley's estate, a responsibility that encompasses the iconic Graceland, as of August. This transition occurred nearly eight months after the unfortunate passing of Lisa Marie at the age of 54, due to a small bowel obstruction in January. The decision to appoint Riley as the executor followed a legal dispute initiated by Priscilla, Elvis Presley's former wife, and Lisa Marie's mother. The legal challenge contested the authenticity and validity of a 2016 amendment made by Lisa Marie, wherein she removed both her mother and her former business manager as co-trustees. Priscilla, a central figure in the upcoming biopic directed by Sofia Coppola, addressed the matter in an August interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Despite the legal complexities, Priscilla denied any discord between herself and her granddaughter regarding the estate, emphasizing that they have always been on good terms. She clarified, Riley is now the executor, which should be right obviously, being her daughter. Riley and I are on good terms. We were never not on good terms. That was all publicity. Recently, Elvis Presley's eldest granddaughter, Riley Keough, has unveiled a thrilling Christmas surprise for fans, an exclusive experience inside the iconic Graceland estate. With the transfer of ownership of the King's Graceland estate following Lisa Marie's passing, Riley Keough has taken on the responsibility of preserving its legacy as a museum and pilgrimage site for Elvis enthusiasts worldwide. Moreover, Keough is dedicated to enhancing accessibility for the local Memphis community, emphasizing a commitment to inclusivity. Keogh's proactive approach to Graceland's transformation includes opening up the property to a broader audience through more public events. While Graceland has traditionally been a tourist attraction, Keok has introduced a variety of events, ranging from concerts to film festivals, enriching the cultural offerings on the estate. Additionally, she has made Graceland available for private rentals, facilitating weddings and corporate events in this historic setting. Not only has Riley Keow made impactful changes to the Graceland estate, but she has also introduced innovative updates to the Graceland Museum. Among these changes, Keu has curated new exhibits that provide insights into Elvis's personal life and his profound impact on popular culture. These additions aim to offer visitors a more comprehensive understanding of the King's legacy. In her dedication to enhancing the museum experience, Keu has prioritized interactivity and engagement.
the museum now offers a more immersive journey for visitors, allowing them to connect more deeply with the iconic story of Elvis Presley. Keogh's visionary stewardship of Graceland has garnered widespread acclaim from both Elvis fans and critics. Many believe that her unique connection to Elvis as his granddaughter makes her the ideal custodian to carry on the legacy of this historic estate. As Keogh continues to shape the Graceland experience, enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the unfolding chapters of this cultural heritage. In addition to her transformative changes at Graceland, Riley Keogh is championing accessibility and inclusivity in unprecedented ways. Partnering with the Memphis Music Foundation, she has implemented a groundbreaking initiative, providing free admission to Graceland on select dates throughout the year. This not only opens the doors to Elvis enthusiasts, but also invites a diverse audience to partake in the rich cultural heritage housed within Graceland. Going beyond traditional boundaries, K.O. has taken a proactive stance in education. She has pioneered a specialized educational program tailored for Memphis school children. This program serves as a unique opportunity for the younger generation to delve into the life and musical legacy of Elvis Presley, fostering a deeper appreciation for cultural icons. Kao's commitment to inclusivity extends to the physical accessibility of the Graceland Museum. Incorporating ramps, elevators, and other features, she has ensured that every visitor, regardless of ability, can enjoy a seamless and enriching experience at the iconic estate. Beyond its historical significance, Graceland, under the stewardship of Riley Keough, is becoming a dynamic platform for embracing and celebrating the rich diversity of Memphis and its vibrant culture. K.O. has orchestrated a series of events at the Estati, creating a melting pot of experiences that reflect the diverse tapestry of the local community. K.O.'s vision transcends Graceland's role as a mere tourist attraction. She aspires to transform it into a multifaceted destination, a place where everyone, irrespective of background or interests, can converge to learn, appreciate, and celebrate Elvis Presley's enduring legacy. In this evolving vision, Graceland becomes more than a museum. It emerges as a hub where individuals can find entertainment, inspiration, and education, fostering a sense of inclusivity and community engagement. As Keogh breathes new life into Graceland, it evolves into an immersive and enriching experience that transcends cultural boundaries. Riley Keough's commitment to Graceland goes beyond mere restoration efforts. She's injecting a renewed spirit into this iconic estate. Emphasizing community outreach and education, Keo has embarked on collaborative ventures with local Memphis artists. These partnerships have given rise to a series of workshops and interactive sessions tailored for the youth, delving into the realms of music, art, and history. These initiatives represent a conscious effort to integrate the rich heritage of Memphis into the very fabric of Graceland, creating a seamless blend of the past and the present. Kioff's forward-thinking approach ensures that Graceland evolves into more than just a museum. It transforms into a vibrant cultural hub where the community actively engages with its history and artistic legacy. As a result, Graceland becomes a dynamic space that not only preserves Elvis Presley's legacy, but also serves as a catalyst for cultural enrichment and community involvement. In addition to her transformative efforts at Graceland, the 34-year-old Riley Keough has unveiled an exciting opportunity for fans to immerse themselves in the holiday spirit. Elvis Presley. Enthusiasts are in for a treat this holiday season, as NBC brings a festive gift, a brand new holiday special, titled Christmas at Graceland, executive produced by none other than Elvis's granddaughter, Riley Q. Breaking away from the traditional holiday mold, this musical TV event is set to honor the legacy of the king of rock and roll and infuse the holiday spirit with a touch of Elvis magic. This special marks a historic moment being the first-ever holiday special to be filmed live from the iconic Graceland estate in Memphis. 
The event promises a star-studded lineup of musical guests paying homage to Elvis, his timeless music, and the joy of the holiday season. Elvis's influence on Christmas music has been enduring since the release of his iconic 1957 album, Elvis's Christmas Album, featuring classics that have become seasonal staples. Notably, The King also shook up the holiday TV landscape in December 1968 with an NBC special, turning what was intended as a traditional Christmas show into the groundbreaking and innovative musical event known as The Comeback Special. Set to air on Wednesday, November 29th, at 10 p.m. ET on NBC and simultaneously streaming on Peacock, Christmas at Graceland follows NBC's annual Christmas in Rockefeller Center special. While the performers for this unique event are yet to be revealed, the anticipation is already building for a holiday celebration unlike any other. Blending the magic of Graceland with the timeless tunes of Elvis Presley, Riley Keough takes on a pivotal role as one of the executive producers for the upcoming holiday special. The 34-year-old star of Daisy Jones and the Six expressed her excitement and gratitude in a press release statement, offering a glimpse into what viewers can expect from this unprecedented program. In her statement, Keo shared, My family and I are elated to open the doors to Graceland in this first-of-its-kind special. She went on to provide a glimpse into what viewers can expect, stating, With intimate musical performances drawing inspiration from my grandfather Elvis's cherished Christmases in Memphis, Viewers will be invited to experience firsthand the magic that is Christmas at Graceland. In these words, Riley not only showcases her enthusiasm for the project, but also emphasizes the personal touch that this Christmas special aims to bring, offering a unique and intimate connection to Elvis Presley's holiday traditions. The enduring tradition of Elvis Presley keeping his Christmas decorations up until his birthday on January 8th is a well-known facet of the King's festive celebrations. Several factors contribute to the extended display of Christmas cheer in the Presley household. Firstly, Elvis had a genuine love for the festive atmosphere that Christmas brought. From the twinkling lights to the joyous music, he reveled in the overall sense of joy and goodwill that permeated the holiday season. Secondly, as a deeply religious man, Christmas held special significance for Elvis as a time to celebrate his faith. This was reflected in his decision to keep a nativity scene up year-round, emphasizing the importance of the Christmas message. Beyond the festive ambiance and religious observance, Elvis's decision to maintain Christmas decorations until his birthday carried a sentimental connection to his childhood. Growing up in a financially modest family, Christmas stood out as a time when his parents went the extra mile to ensure his happiness. Elvis often reminisced about the cherished Christmases of his youth, and by keeping the decorations up, he aimed to perpetuate that warm and nostalgic feeling throughout the year. The enduring presence of Christmas decor served as a tangible link to the joyful memories of his formative years. Exploring the reasons behind Elvis Presley's choice to keep his Christmas decorations up until his birthday unveils a spectrum of possibilities, shedding light on the deeper, Motivations behind this cherished tradition. One plausible interpretation is that Elvis saw the prolonged display as an opportunity to extend the joy and happiness generated by the Christmas season. By maintaining the festive decor for an extended period, he could perpetuate the warm and uplifting atmosphere associated with Christmas throughout the weeks leading up to his birthday. This extended celebration allowed Elvis to bask in the positive and festive energy that the holiday season brought, creating a continuous source of joy for both himself and those around him. In this light, the decision to keep the Christmas decorations up until January 8th takes on a nuanced significance, representing not only a personal preference, but also a deliberate effort to cultivate an enduring sense of merriment and goodwill in his home. Elvis, 
known for his charismatic and joyful persona, may have viewed this tradition as a way to share the festive spirit with those close to him and the countless fans who admired and celebrated his legacy. Moreover, the decorations served the purpose of infusing a warm and inviting ambiance into Graceland, creating an atmosphere of festivity and joy that resonated with both residents and visitors. Elvis, known for his hospitality and consideration for his fans, might have wanted to extend the Christmas spirit to the many admirers who flocked to Graceland during the holiday season. By keeping the decorations in place, he ensured that the iconic mansion continued to exude a welcoming and festive aura, making each visitor's experience special and memorable. Furthermore, Elvis's commitment to aesthetics and his keen eye for design could offer another layer of understanding. It's plausible that he simply relished the visual appeal and the emotional resonance that the Christmas decorations brought to his home. For an artist who valued self-expression and creativity, maintaining an aesthetically pleasing environment year-round might have been a way for Elvis to enhance his living space and immerse himself in an environment that reflected his personal style and appreciation for beauty. In the end, the decision to keep the Christmas decorations up until his birthday remains a deeply personal one for Elvis Presley, reflecting his unique connection to the festive season and the significance it held in his life. While the precise motivations may be known only to Elvis himself, the tradition has undeniably become an integral part of his enduring legacy. This cherished practice, so intimately woven into his personal history, resonates profoundly with those who appreciate and value his profound influence on music and culture. For many admirers of Elvis, the continuation of this tradition symbolizes a heartfelt commitment to preserving the essence of the king's spirit and the joyous atmosphere he created during the holiday season. It serves as a poignant reminder of the man behind the music, offering a glimpse into the traditions and rituals that shape the private world of an iconic figure. As a result, this enduring tradition has taken on a life of its own touching the hearts of those who hold Elvis Presley's legacy dear and reinforcing the timeless connection between the king and the magic of Christmas. NBC's Jen Neal expressed heartfelt gratitude for the extraordinary opportunity to usher in the holidays at Graceland, emphasizing the profound honor and fulfillment of being part of Elvis Presley's enduring legacy. She conveyed sincere thanks to Riley Keough and her family for generously granting access to Elvis's iconic home, facilitating an intimate musical experience that resonates with the very essence of what Elvis himself would have cherished. Jen Neal eloquently remarked, To celebrate the holidays at Graceland and be a part of the King's legacy is both an honor and an absolute dream come true. She further extended appreciation, saying, We thank Riley and her family for allowing all of us to visit her grandfather's iconic home and share an intimate musical experience that Elvis would have truly loved. The sentiment reflects the collaboration between the K.O. family and NBC in bringing this special moment to audiences, promising an intimate and heartfelt celebration of Elvis's legacy within the walls of Graceland. The current developments, under Riley Keough's stewardship at Graceland, could potentially mark a groundbreaking moment for the historic estate. As she takes on the responsibility of overseeing the estate, fans are intrigued by the possibility that she might eventually include the upstairs area in the tour, although concrete details on this potential expansion remain uncertain. Enthusiasts can only hold on to hope for the development of such an exciting addition to the Graceland experience. Riley Kelk's transformative efforts are not only reshaping Graceland, but are also setting a new standard for preserving the legacy of Elvis Presley. Her unwavering dedication to accessibility, education, and the celebration of Memphis's vibrant culture is commendable. These initiatives are not just about honoring the past. They are also ensuring that future generations can immerse themselves in the timeless magic of the king's world. Keo's forward-looking approach is making Graceland more than a museum. 
It's becoming a dynamic cultural hub that reflects the spirit and influence of Elvis on the broader cultural landscape. As enthusiasts and guests continue to revel in the dynamic changes taking place at Graceland, the legacy of this iconic estate remains not only intact, but also thriving, all thanks to Riley Keough's unwavering commitment to its evolution. Which aspect of Riley Keough's initiatives at Graceland are you most eagerly anticipating, and how do you believe these transformative efforts will enhance your future visits to this legendary estate? Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Additionally, if you enjoyed this update and want to stay informed about similar topics, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon. This way, We'll keep you abreast of all the latest news and captivating stories. Until next time, goodbye for now.